We're going to jump straight into this with tips for fourths of seven. I think we got to welcome a guest, but you're very excited to have him on. Yeah, super excited to have him on. I didn't say this, so I didn't want to tell him because I didn't want him to be embarrassed. But okay. <laughs> he's like surprised. He can't see. Well, he's right there, but yeah. I didn't want to tell him this before the show. Hold on. He, he actually, so this was the first time that I worked E3 this past year, and it was a huge honor as a big Xbox fan. And I was super nervous. I'm always nervous. I'm yeah. nervous for the show. Constantly no, nervous. No offense to this show, but this is no E3, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. I actually got to speak to him a few times at E3, and it went a long way making me feel not nervous. Oh, that's great, so, man. That's my I'm story. It wasn't you. a great story, but you I wanted to make sure. <laughs> you, you did that to me, by the way. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome, right. Graham. All right, here Come we go. On. AC Bongos. Everybody give it up. <laughs> yeah, I have to touch it. Look at oh. this. Try my eyes after that. So oh, my Come God. On. Oh. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. That's in. very nice. I, I'm just going to. Honestly, know. though. It's good seeing you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take the handshake. Hey, everyone. There how's it going? Oh, the most well, famous hey. thing that happened to our show ever. Ever. Oh, don't be like in that. In all 19 Come episodes. On. Behave yourself. <laughs> this is nice. This is an absolute pleasure for me. You yeah. know, be, I'm living over here now. I've been yeah. about yes. five weeks in country. How's that been? And this is this has been my ambition. I yeah, was like, I am moving. Show. On this show. I'm moving six thousand miles with my family so I can be on tips and that tricks. Is, that he is. I've climbed every true. mountain. Can't be true. Far too kind. <laughs> what did I do next? Nice. Right. <laughs> you can try Rainier. I, th there's anything is better than this, but we appreciate yeah. that. Not yes. at all. No, this is a total pleasure. This is great. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So where, where are we getting started then? Well, I'm I'm not good at Forza. I, okay. I'm a big fan of the Horizons. Uh, when it comes to the motorsports, I'm just okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm just terrible. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel like we needed an expert. So we brought in an expert, of course, that being yourself, with the Forza 7 shirt and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Sounders, my new team. Of course, Ooh, of yeah. course. Repping Seattle. That's it. Yes. Um, well, I've got good news for you, right? All right. All right. Because uh, you know, you, I know you've been on Twitter all day saying how nervous you are about you <laughs> yeah, know, you saw getting it. better at Forza. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need to be nervous about this. Okay, this does not need to be intimidating. Okay, all Forza right. Motorsport Seven is an amazing game because it's an incredible simulation of, of racing and driving and motorsports, but it's entirely customizable as well. Right, you can start with the easiest drive in the whole world, and then you can go right up to basically. A, a real professional race driving experience, right? Mm. But that journey in between doesn't need to phase you. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show everyone at home and you guys as well yes. exactly how to do it, right? Now, I, I, and I, I'm give, going to give you a guarantee here, right? I did okay. this on Twitter earlier. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, let's hear I it. got told to clarify my guarantee, <laughs> right? But I guarantee if you listen to the seven tips I've got for you today uh, at home, uh, I'm going to shave you at least five seconds off your lap times in Forza, potentially. Petition. Up to 10 seconds. Oh. That, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh, is a money back guarantee. It's not a money back guarantee. Yes, Thank you. I've Thank just you. been told it's not a money back yes. guarantee. <laughs> but I'm going to guarantee you, I'm going to save you that time, right? Awesome. I do also want to clarify that these are tips for beginner yeah. to intermediate players, okay? Right? So if you're at home, if you're a professional Forza player, if you've been playing this game for years and years and years at the very top levels, if you're always top of the leaderboards, these tips maybe aren't for you. However, if you're a beginner, like you guys... <laughs> yeah, or yeah. intermediate like me. Yeah, I don't claim to be like you know top tier Forza player. These tips are definitely, definitely going to help you awesome. out, right? Mm. But if you are, if you are like a top tier Forza player at home, you're watching. We'd love to hear about your tips and um, you know the things that have helped you in your Forza career. And you can give us your feedback on the tips that I'm going to give. But we, you know, we'd love to hear all that stuff, right? Yeah. Yes, I'm excited. Okay. So we get started. Ooh. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it with tip number one right so tip number one is to customize forza right everything in forza is customizable we talked about this already right from your driver gear to your car paints to the assists absolutely everything so you can really make this game completely your own yeah. right and this is this is what i want to point out the whole way through make forza the game that you feel comfortable with right but the key thing is then to stretch yourself because the more you stretch yourself and challenge yourself the faster your lap times are going to be. And mm. yeah, you know, there'll be a little bit of pain yeah. getting there. But uh, and I, the main thing to do that is actually to play around with the assists. So I think we just had the assist menu on screen there as well, right? So when you yeah. start off um, Forza Motorsport 7, a lot of the default assists are already on, right? So there's two sets of assists. There's the artificial assists, which are kind of built into the game mm -hmm. to make it easier for you as a new player. So that's okay. things like assisted steering. So th the game yeah. will actually ease you into corners and it'll control your steering for you so you don't like kind I feel of, you know, I feel like I had that on by accident once and was like I can't be this good at this game <laughs> well in all seriousness like on the demo th that's all on his default and okay. if you go and play at E3 it's all on his default oh. so you see a lot of people playing it thinking this feels a little bit strange it's like the <laughs> right. game's driving for me right yeah. you need to knock all that stuff off or get that stuff off straight yeah, away yeah, you yeah. don't need any of those artificial assists artificial braking's the other one right Ooh. the game will break for you right I did notice that we don't need that right now if we're talking we're going to talk about braking in a bit more detail later right but so we've talked about the artificial assists. 
you also then have the, uh, I guess, like the simulation assists or the, the, like in driving terms, the real assists. So things like ABS, right? Anti-lock yeah. braking, uh, tra traction control system and stability management as well, right? Those are things that are built into cars, actual cars, actual yeah, cars right. nowadays, right? Uh, and you can leave them turned on in Forza or you can turn them off. If you leave them on, your ride's going to be more stable, right? Your stopping's going to be more controlled. Your car's going to be more stable, but it bleeds time off your lap times mm. because actually your car has a series of you know mechanics and electronics that are kicking in mm -hmm. to keep it under control. But actually, motorsports is actually about going to the edge of control, right? Mm. So you need to start thinking about knocking those assists off, uh, and and that will make your car faster. It will make it harder to control. Yeah but it's going to make you, you faster and, and increase your or decrease your lap times overall. Now, the other thing you can do in the assist menu is actually increase the difficulty of the game uh, in terms of the challenge from the other driver tars as well, right? Mm. So if you knock off um, assists, you're going to get credit bonuses at the end of each race because the game's harder. If you increase the uh, difficulty of your opponents, you're going to make the game harder as well, obviously. Yeah. You're going to get yeah. bigger credits uh, uh, bonuses as well. And that's going to mean you've got more credits in the bank you can buy better cars, you can increase your car collector tier, uh, and it's going to open up the game nice. even more for you. Do you have a preferred car for like beginners, or like a s series, or is it kind of just personal you know, preference? It's interesting, actually, because you know, the, 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 the sort of natural thing to think is that like smaller, like slower overall top speed cars, like more production cars, the kind of stuff yeah. you see on the road yeah. every day, are going to be um, better for beginners. But actually, you find that if you're looking at actual race cars, cars, cars that are built for the track and for motorsport, they are more stable generally under intense conditions than a normal road car would be. So in fact, like as you start knocking off those assists like traction control system, stability management, ABS brakes, you'll find that higher end cars with a faster overall top speed built for track are going to be more stable under those conditions. It's actually when you put kind of production cars, you take yeah. off all those assists, they become really wobbly, they become <laughs> really unstable, weird. and well, get into trouble. I like the trucks. I like driving the trucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the trucks are good. All right. It's like, it's like, no, Is that I like your the tip? trucks. I like the trucks. <laughs> tip number two. Drive the trucks. I, like I like portals. Yeah, yeah gosh. So there's Thanks tip number one, right? There Look at that assists menu. Um, feel, like, find out what you're comfortable with, but then start stretching yourself, knocking off those assists. Mm -hmm. Now, and the rest of the tips, we'll go into a little bit more detail about what those actual assists are and yeah. what okay. knocking them off, you know, what the, uh, I guess, the, um, what you need to deal with when you knock them off. Okay. So Sounds we're going good. to tip number two? Yeah, let's, do, let's it. do it. Tip number two, and this is going to sound silly, but if you've ever played a multiplayer game on Xbox Live on Forza Motorsport 7, you'll know that it's not that silly. Use your brakes, people. Yes. Come on. Brakes are there on cars for a reason. Exactly. They slow it down. They stop it, and most importantly, they help you get around corners, right? Um, you know, we're all used to arcade racers, especially from the olden days where you didn't want to use your brakes, right? It was about drifting. Yeah. It was about maybe just touching the brake to kick the car out, uh, or you could just keep it flat on all the time. You yeah. definitely cannot do that in Forza Motorsport 7. That shouldn't be news to anyone, but, you know, it F definitely is, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> um, so People don't want to lose that speed, you know? Yeah. Well, that's it. But the, the thing about braking and good braking is that... Um, being slower with your braking and gentler with your braking and more controlled with your braking actually makes you faster, right? There's, yeah. a, there's an old saying that like, someone I used to work with used to say all the time, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Mm -hmm. And that is really important for Forza Motorsport and, and race driving in general, okay? So what you want to think about with braking here is keep it under control, keep it gentle, keep it gradual. Um, and that will give you more control, which means you can get into corners faster and out of corners faster, right? And that's where it gets really important, yeah, okay? Because yeah. you don't want to be hanging around in corners, losing control, and yeah. then having to right yourself when you should be jamming on the accelerator and getting down your straight as well, right? Exactly. So important thing to remember here is straight line braking, okay? So when you're driving in your car, um, you want to be applying the brakes when your wheels are all pointing in the same direction, right? You're in a straight line. Because as soon as your wheels move out of alignment, then your braking is not going to be as effective mm -hmm. and there's more chance of you losing control. Interesting. That makes so much sense, that. but I never thought. It makes so much sense, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So what you'll see generally is in racing games is that people will approach a corner, they'll jam on the brakes too hard, first of all, because you want to be gradual with that pressing of the brakes. Um, and then they'll start turning at the corner with the brakes on, right? Mm. That's when your wheels lock up and your car just keeps going in the yeah. same direction. You, so you're not getting the benefit of the turn, the turn and you're also not getting the benefit of the, of the car slowing down efficiently, okay? And then that sets you up really poorly for your racing line into the mm -hmm. corner and sets you up really poorly for accelerating out of the corner. Yeah, so be sense. gentle. Yeah. It's a point I wanted to make as well. I've got a controller here as well. These triggers on an Xbox One controller 
are phenomenal in terms of analog, right? They've yeah. got, I don't know, so a many. billion different points yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. That's not verified by the hardware. Team, <laughs> but that's, they're squishy so because every point in that squish is an extra point of pressure, okay? Right. That's super important for Forza, both in braking and accelerating because you want to use every single bit of that, okay? So it's not just on and off with brakes. Yeah. Nice squeeze as you're, you need to slow down faster, then squeeze it even harder, and then same with acceleration out of the way, okay? And a really cool just thing about the, the triggers, especially for Xbox One, are the impulse triggers. You can really, you feel the rumble inside of totally. the triggers, and so that yeah. really kind of gives you cues into what you're doing when you're going around. It's a great point, because you yeah. want to use that feedback as well. That's exactly. built into Forza, so you can feel what's exactly. happening within your wheels you can feel where your braking points are and that's really important so really quickly on abs right so you know master your braking with abs on if that makes you feel more comfortable definitely knocking yes. abs <laughs> off is going to improve your lap times okay. right you, do you know what abs is yeah so it's an electronic system i'm going to tell you anyway. yeah you know, <laughs> i mean tell uh, me then want, explain it to me it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's the one thing i'm gonna throw up he said it too nervous <laughs> abs stands for anti-lock braking system right so there it's basically go. a system that stops your wheels locking up so if you jam on the brake in a production car like you know if a, someone walks out in front of your car you jam on that brake it actually pulses yeah, the, brakes the brakes so yeah. that they don't lock the wheels don't lock up and then you lose Got traction it. you skid okay so it pulses the brakes so in Forza Motorsport 7, if you've got turned that, that turned on when you're racing, it's going to pulse your brakes as you're approaching a corner, which actually means you slow down under more control, mm -hmm. but it takes a longer time for the car to slow down, okay? Mm -hmm. So by turning them off, yes, it, it decreases the stability of the car. The wheels are more likely to lock up if you jam the brakes on, but it's actually going to stop the car quicker or slow the car quicker to get you into a corner and then accelerate out of it faster. And you're okay? not railing on that brake, are you? Like, you're not hammering on that down. You're you shouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't be. Yeah, because yeah. that's when it's going to lock up. You know, gotcha. that's why you see cars in an F1 race or a motorsports race. When you yeah. see those wheels lock, you see the smoke come off. That's because mm -hmm. they've jammed on the brake too, too, too soon. Right. Yeah. Now, it's not always a bad thing. You no. know, you can use that to your advantage. But, you know, it's again, it's been at the edge of control. If you gotcha. keep that on for too long, you're going to be out of control. You're going to lose traction. It's like my driver tire. If you see my driver tire, it's always out of control. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's driving yeah. crazy. Well, see, if you follow these tips, then you'll be absolutely It's going to be fine. way better. All right, so remember that. Use your brakes, straight line braking, take off ABS. You don't need that. You'll get used to it. Slow is smooth. And smooth, smooth is fast. fast. I love that. Yeah, that's I'm nice, that. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's really for life. yeah, yeah it actually life. works. That's it works for a lot of yeah. things. Yeah. Right. Now, the other thing about braking points, which uh, sorry, braking, which is going to take us on to our next point, is braking points. Right. Yeah. Learning where on every track, on every corner, you need to be applying those brakes mm. rather than just trying to like make it up as you go along. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to point three or tip three, which is learn the, learn tracks. the tracks. Again, it sounds simple. It sounds obvious. But it's like the number one best way to get faster in Forza Motorsport 7, okay? There's a whole ton of tracks in here. There's lots of different, you know, um, variations of the tracks yeah. as well. By running them again and again and again, you're going to obviously know those tracks better. You're going to know the corners better. You're going to learn your braking points better. So you can, you know, you've got them every time. This is like doing your homework, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you do your homework. So when it comes to exams, you're better. You learn the tracks in Forza Motorsport 7. So when it comes to that multiplayer racer, when you're playing the game, you're going to be better at it as well. Now, there's, there's another benefit to this, which I think sits around all of these tips here, is that by learning the tracks, you actually get a much better connection with the track right? The track becomes your friend. Yeah. You learn about I the like soul that. of the track, right? Um, and I think that's an amazing thing about Forza Motorsport 7. Like Laguna Seca, for instance, right, is one of my favorite racetracks in the whole world. And the reason for that is that I've been playing it in, in racing games right. for Forever. years. And I know it so intimately now, like, I, I kind of feel like I understand the soul of what makes that track special, right? Yeah. yeah. So by learning the tracks, you're going to get faster, you're going to know your way around the track quicker, you're going to have a drop on your rivals. And I think actually, like, increases your connection to the game. You're going to enjoy it more in the long term as well. Totally agree. It's yeah. going to be one to play this so bad. So like good, yeah. <laughs> so good. It's really good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm dying to play now. <laughs> good. Right. Yeah. So tip number four. Ready? Yes. I'm ready. Mod cards. So <laughs> mod cards in Forza Motorsport 7 are a brilliant way uh, to earn extra credits in races. Um, you know, you can apply these before you go into a race. You get them through um, loot crates. You get them uh, as you unlock races as well. Um, so they're going to add credits for you. Um, they're also a really good way of like stretching you again, encouraging you to learn different things about right. racing. Okay, so we've got some on, on screen here. So like Night Race, for instance, uh, there'll be ones where it'll, um, if you've got assists on, it'll take those assists off and encourage you to race without them and give nice. you bonuses for doing so. So taking ABS off, taking controlled steering off, traction control, whatever, all of those sort of things. So, 
you know, it's great because you're getting bonuses. Yeah, I see it there. They're showing the kind of like the XP boost. And there you go. Yeah. Oh, suggested line off. Now, actually, that's something I should have mentioned and learn the tracks, right? Oh, okay. So having your racing line is one of the, mm. um, you know, artificial assists, let's sure. say, yeah. in Forza Motorsport 7. So I play with it off, but if you're learning a track, it's actually brilliant to stick that suggested racing line on because that mm. then gives you a really good sense of where I you should be on the track right. yeah. at any given time. Yeah. So just <clears throat> but it's not the fastest, is it? Like, it's faster to find your own? Uh, no, it should be the fastest. It should be. Yeah. Okay, interesting. The racing line is essentially... It sh that should be the fastest way around the track because it's, okay. it's, it's basically the shortest route from one corner right. to the next, gotcha. right? All the way around the track. Right. It's a bit now, harder to overtake people, though, because everybody's kind well, of yeah. driving that line. So 100%. If you're, if you're in a pack of traffic, then right. you're not always going to be able to stick rigidly to that racing line. Exactly. So you're going to have to improvise in real races. But if you're hot lapping, you want to be on the racing line as there much as you possibly can. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So we've talked about mods a little bit as well there. So credit bonuses, unlock more cars, yeah. progress through the game faster, and also pushing you to, to try new things try, as well. Try, right? yeah, try some different stuff. Okay. Nice. Right. So let's move on to tip number five. Tip Remind me what tip five. number five is. There it is. Download some tunes. Ooh, I like this one. <laughs> I love tunes. And I don't mean like music for the car when oh, you're man. driving around. Okay. Disappointing. No, <laughs> 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 this, uh, now this is a, this kind of this is a reference to the, the hardcore Forza Motorsport community who yeah. are absolutely incredible at what they do from painting cars and designing cars through to tuning cars, right? Now, uh, and this is the thing: there are people out there playing Forza who know this game inside out. They know cars inside out. They're big car nuts in real life as well. And they totally understand what makes a car tick, right? So they spend all their time building these amazing tunes for your favorite cars. You should totally try and download some of them uh, and use them out in your favorite cars and in tracks as well. You know, some tunes will be more attuned to nice. straight line racing, <laughs> for instance, or some will be more for technical racing where you've okay. got lots of turns. Oh, so you can download other people's and then you don't even 100%. have to worry about so, trusting yourself. So up here, right, we've got Raceboy77, who I, who I know really well. We went out to uh, Circuit the Americas in Austin with him, oh, I really? guess, two oh. years ago for Forza Motorsport nice. 6. And he nice. actually, we did a competition with the best Forza players in the world, and, and he came first, right? Ooh, uh, wow. It was really cool, because then he got to, like, he got to race Forza Motorsport 6 like sitting on the track at Circuit of the Americas. Oh, that's crazy. Against Super a real meta. racing driver who was actually racing on the track. And oh, and they were like racing the for time. Yeah, they were racing against the Interesting. Super Meta. Interesting. Yeah. Like that. Wow. And Race Boy won. So definitely check out, you know, those uh, amazing tuners within the community. There's like Johnson, Lightning, and Race Boy, who we just talked about as well. They've publicly shared their tunes uh, so you can race exactly what they are racing when they are uh, winning all those races and doing an amazing job, okay? So Got check it. out those tunes. Got it. Right, now we're getting into an area which I know is terrifying. It's for very you guys. terrifying. Honestly. In real life and in games, yeah. to Honestly, be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But this is another tip that will increase your lap times. It's going to make you faster. And I would like to make the case that this will change the way you play driving games forever. It's actually Ooh. going to increase your enjoyment of driving games from now until yeah, time. infinity. Yeah, and it is race in manual. Take off automatic <sighs> gears uh, and, yeah. Yeah. and race stick, right? Yeah. This, is, this is a big deal, right? And I know... It's terrifying. So it's terrifying I'm from the UK, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been over here for five weeks. So I've become intimately um, aware of your love affair with automatic cars over yeah. here. Right? Yeah. Everything is automatic. That's, that's, that's well, it, especially with Seattle traffic, man. Like Driving a manual and, and stop and go is a nightmare. That's well. kind of true. <laughs> But yeah. nothing really compares to the feeling of being able to do one clutching, of these and gunning <laughs> through. I don't think that's how it yeah, works. It's I, I think, like this, I think yeah? you're driving a bus and opening the door. <laughs> I think that's what you're doing. But there yeah. is like there's genuinely a cultural uh, thing here where I think people who have grown up in Europe and driven in Europe are just they're completely used to manual yeah. shifting, yeah. right? So it's it's less of a change to them, I suppose. And whereas I guess over here, you're so used to automatic than going yeah. to manual yeah. in a, in a game like Forza Motorsport 7 is, yeah. feels like a bigger leap. That's true. There's no, always a right. joke that if you don't want to get, to get your car stolen, just drive a stick. Because no, <laughs> no, no, yeah, no one yeah. will be able to drive No, No, actually, I actually, when I was 16, I learned on a manual and then never never drove one again. Really? I had like opportunity to drive a DeLorean and I couldn't drive Ooh. it because of the I can't drive it. It was like what? the it was the worst, oh, to be honest. Mate, so that that sucks. Yeah. Well, listen, like here's your opportunity. You can get back to uh, you can get back to driving manual, <laughs> right? And I, and I swear, like for me, I remember we were doing a hot lap competition two years ago in Forza Motorsport Six, uh, and and someone in the Forza community actually said to me, "Race manual, you're going to take so much time off, right?" And I did, right? So I switched from automatic, which I'd always raced in every racing game, yeah. to manual. Uh, I had about an hour of pain 
just like <laughs> trying to like sure. get used to it get, yeah. you know ha having to like manage gear shifting as well as braking and accelerating from then on it's been beautiful I'm faster and I'm actually I feel more engaged and connected to my racing games because you're constantly thinking you're no longer just like brake that's, and that's accelerate. Yeah, you're yeah. thinking, okay, which gear do I need to be and how do I keep my revs high? So you've got that much better nice. connection to the game. Yeah. You understand the game it. more in depth. It does. Yeah. It's yeah. just like you've yeah. got more to do, more that's to think about. So it's more, more way, enjoyable yeah. down the line. Yeah. Right. The, the reason it's faster, we should get to that, is that in automatic shifting, you know, it's less to think about definitely, but the car is making the choice for you when it wants to shift up gear and shift down a gear as well, right? It's not always using the full limits of those gears right so you might actually be shifting up gears faster than you'd want to right. to get the full pull yeah. from the engine in that, that gear right sense. when you're shifting to manual you're making that decision right so you can really start watching that rev counter and see what it's getting right to the very edge uh. of its limit that's when you want to shift okay. that's pretty awesome i think i want to see it i want to see it live like i feel like you can can you can kind of yeah. pitch it to us i don't know can we play it like oh, i think it's a much man. better example yeah let's yeah. do it right let's okay it. let's so, go so let's, uh, okay, so we'll get this race started here. All right, loading up. Hold on, this is on manual, isn't it? Uh-oh. Let's see. Let's go to assists. Custom. So Look at that. Oh, let's get this off. <laughs> <It's still> on, <laughs> yeah. Just, turn it all ABS wrong. off, okay, <laughs> steer normal, traction control. Oh, hold on, yeah. he's got all these off. All right. I might yep. put traction stability back on. No, let's leave them off. Here. Right, so we've got manual on, fuel and tires, good. Nice. Right, Sweet. okay, so we're going to accept that. Ready to hit the track. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on us now. No, it's fine. No, you get it. It, it, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, trust me. We're so bad. It's gonna be more pressure so, on you. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know oh, if we no. can drive. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have time. I think. <laughs> now, I think conveniently we'll cut this segment. Short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's. Never be as as Josh playing PUBG. Yeah, that was pretty oh, bad. Yeah. Josh playing PUBG oh, in front of uh, Brandon. Was, in front of Brandon. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. Was, mm. Sorry, well, Josh. Like, let's bring that up again. I didn't think you could come below 100 as well. He was like 104 <laughs> yeah, yeah. or something, yeah, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah. I think he died in the air. Yeah. Four years. Incredible. How you managed that? Right. We just need to wait for this to load up. Oh, great. So the the. The thing I'm going to want to do here is, so I'm going to be using the full limit uh, of each gear. Okay. Uh, and then when I'm coming to corners and I'm braking, so I obviously want to be moving down the gears, uh, I want to make sure that I'm keeping my revs as high as possible, right? So that, because if I'm in too high a gear when I'm moving slowly, then my acceleration is going to be really poor as gotcha. well. But I want to minimize that time between braking, going slowly, and then getting the acceleration going as well nice. uh, again afterwards, all right? So it's about keeping right, the revs we... high. Right, oh my God. So let's see, Don't, just car. remember that I'm an intermediate, possibly beginner <laughs> exactly. okay. um, Forza player. We should just, I just want to put that out there again. And, we're, and what, yeah, what track are we on? We are, so we are on Laguna Seca. Yeah, it's well, your baby. Okay. This is so your I should know which track I'm on. With all these av now, avatars. Now, I'm going to try and make sure that I'm being sensible with my braking here as well. First of all, well. because I've been talking about it, and secondly, because when you're <laughs> yeah. when you're in traffic like this, yeah, there, so many cars. there yeah, is, is no real benefit to like smashing through all the cars. Okay, that's why people's driver cars are horrific that's drivers. Me. Oh, okay? so you're not supposed oh, to. Oh, look at this guy! What's he doing behind yeah, me? It's probably Malik. That's probably my driver tar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. unbelievable. Okay. So you can't. Okay, so don't crash into the other cars. Don't crash into all the other cars. I mean, you know. Robin's like racing and all that, you, but yeah. you know, you should probably try not to. Okay. Okay. So this, I've got a bit of clear track in front of me. I was always curious if they like if that affected your points at the end. Clean no. racing, I think. I mean, if you've got um, simulation damage on, then it's going to get you into trouble. But oh, okay. Definitely going to affect your handling for uh, that. Okay, yeah, totally. Right, right, right. Um, separate from separate it's hard from to these talk points. and drive. It yeah, is. for sure. Separate from these points. So what do you talk about? Four to seven, uh, real quick. It, just came who out. Turned the, uh, who turned the difficulty of these drivers? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's how, do you, how are you actually <laughs> shifting right now? Like what, what? So I'm using, that's a great question. So I'm using a, B to shift up and okay, X to go. shift down, okay? Coming up to the corkscrew here, so I need to concentrate. No clutch? No, no clutch yet. But that's, that. just hold your horses, all right? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, I've got enough to think about right now. <laughs> um, now, if you've got an elite controller, Ooh. Yes, and you don't you don't call. need to have one clearly to, to really get the most out of Forza Sports Sports Seven. If you do have an Elite controller, then it's amazing for Forza Seven because you really? can get those paddles, paddles on underneath, yeah. and you can use them for your shifts, uh, which yes. actually feels a lot more like you know driving a real car with paddle shifts, mm -hmm. um, and that is a lot of fun. Oh, just paddle cut that corner. My last car had paddle shifters. There you go. See, now what I was doing there, I'm not concentrating because I'm listening to you, but I've, I, I've 
I stayed in first gear far too long there. So you, if you had the sound on, you'd really be able to hear the, the engine whining and like <laughs> juddering as you get to the end of your uh, yeah, so I get, uh, I feel like the gear there. I feel like audio cues are super important. Oh, there we go. Totally. We have a bit of sound now. There we go. Oh, God. Get I it. tell you what, the back end of this BMW is lively. <laughs> That's because the traction control's off. Right, okay. So are you getting the, the gist yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Straight line braking, tips. gentle through the turns. Um, you know, I'm 17 to 24, so it's not It's always like hard playing and talking. This is not... Yeah. I don't think you can, think you know. You can, yeah. I'm not sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> Just gun it. Well, that's the point, though. You shouldn't be anywhere near blowing your engine because you should be uh, yeah. keeping that under control. So you're shifting down there. Shifting you, when down you shift there, down, yeah. your car naturally slows down. Well, right. yeah, but it's an inefficient way to slow the okay. car down. That's good to know. Because you want to keep, uh, keep your revs high, but yeah. not like screaming against your rev totally. counter, you know? Right, are you just wanting a wee shot here? You want to try this out? Okay. Um, I'd actually rather see you use manual with clutch. Okay, so for, we might for, need to come out For the sake of, of time, <laughs> right? Time, right? I'll tell you what we'll do, right? <laughs> I'm just going to, because for the sake of time, because to do it properly, I'm going to have to come all the way out oh, uh, okay. and shift the uh, settings. Oh, that's a pretty dirty use of the corkscrew there. Mm, Sorry nice. about that. Um, so manual with clutch is tip number seven, right? Yes. Now, if you've mastered manual controls, if you're comfortable with that, and it shouldn't take you too long. What was that? Was that, that a dragon? Though, is there a dragon on this map somewhere? <laughs> it did sound like a dragon. I don't know yeah. if you guys heard oh, okay. that. <laughs> Tip number seven. Oh, okay. oh gosh. <laughs> manual with clutch. Uh, okay. <laughs> manual with clutch. So if you've mastered manual, if you're comfortable with that, adding manual with clutch is going to save you more time. But actually, it's not that great of a leap. You know, if you're used to racing manual, then clutch is just another little thing you have to think about, right? So, you know, if you drive a manual, you know you have to uh, depress the clutch to change gear, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't depress the clutch, then the gear's not going to engage, and your engine is going to make that horrible gotcha, noise. Gotcha. Um, your gearbox is going to fall out, and it's going to cost you a lot of money, okay? So <laughs> adding clutch in Forza means that you have to do an additional button press before you shift up or shift down gears. Oof. Nice power slide there. Right, <laughs> so actually, <laughs> it's not that big of a, a difference. And it's just another button. Yeah, it's just another button. Uh, it's default mapped to uh, left bumper uh, when you play Forza for the first time. Uh, and handbrake is on the A button. But what you can do is swap them around. So if you're running uh, gear shifts on X and B, then you've got A there. So all you're actually doing it's is adding a press of A at the same time as you press X or B. Interesting. Right? That's me so you not, need not sausage fingers. Right? Well, that's <laughs> it. But basically, all you're doing is you're rolling A onto X. Yeah. Or you know, on this side, it's A onto B like that. I don't know if you can see that's that on some, camera. But you're basically pro. just saying A to X, A to B that way. Awesome. Right? Now, shortening that that distance between you pressing the clutch in and shifting obviously makes it quicker. Mm -hmm. The game will shift quicker with a clutch than it does with just manual gears. So you're again, you're making sure that your revs are higher. You're getting the most pull out of your right. engine, and you're shaving off again, you know, halves of seconds of every right, lap but every, time. But every time, yeah, yeah. every, every time. single time you save, change gear, you're saving some time. I am pumped. Ooh, how's that? Is, That's this great. Is good. Yeah, this is all right, isn't tips. it? Yeah, I'm gonna go home and try at home. Right. Go yeah, home we'll and try Can we remember it. them all? <laughs> Somebody go home and try it. Go home and try it. Home. Yeah. Uh, Graham, this is awesome. Thank you yeah. so much. That's, no, it's my uh, pleasure. I'm gonna yeah. be. I, I'm. I feel better already. We should try this again. That'd be a good couch co-op. Is oh, just. Yeah. just take it. Well, I'm gonna give you the challenge, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you. Yeah. Why don't we set up? Uh, we should set up. Let's let's go with Laguna Seca, right? Okay. okay. And we'll um, we'll figure out a car. So why don't we say, what car have I been running? Why don't we say there's a there's a Mercedes Touring? I'm, I'll, we'll put this on Twitter afterwards, right? Okay. We'll go Laguna Seca. Okay. We're going to use this um, this Mercedes uh, Touring car that I've been racing recently in Forza Motorsport okay. Seven, right? And we'll take a week, and I want you to put those tips in action. Ooh. Just run hot laps. Just one hot okay. right? yeah. And register the the your track time today or your lap time tonight, Ooh. and then practice through the week. Knock off those assists. Get faster and faster, and then let, let's see next week how much your lap like times have come I like down. this challenge. It's like yeah? homework, but a challenge. Yeah. Does that sound yeah. good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Definitely. And we can put it on Twitter as well. So if you, you know, if, if some of these tips are new to you, if you want to increase your speed, you can join us as well, and we'll see how fast your lap times come down. Yeah, that there sounds good. Good awesome. deal? Thank Graham, you. Thank, thank you so, so much, much for joining, for joining us. Always. Joining us My pleasure. Show. Thanks very much. Yeah. Oh, my God. Everybody give it up again. Boy, AC Congo. Hey. See you later. Oh, man. I might sell my car and buy a manual car. Today. Yeah, you think so? No, probably not. <laughs> but that, those are some great tips. And uh, yeah. 
I, I like the idea that you push yourself a little bit more to try something different. And yeah. if the benefit is like you shaving off time off your, off your laps, and I think that's, that's amazing. So Forza Motorsport 7 in stores now. Going to be Xbox One X Enhanced uh, when it comes out November 7th. <sighs> Very excited for that. All Very right. excited. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.